Walton obviously was off to the best night of his career. The brilliant Bill Walton limps back out onto the court to receive the award as the tournament's outstanding player. 21 of 22 for 44 points in the title game here 50 years ago. He's had 39 surgeries in his life. If the body didn't break down so often, we may be saying he's the greatest center of all time. I'm serious. Bill Walton was that good. He didn't play the game. He understood it. The Basketball Hall of Famer is our Sunday conversation. And it's an honor to welcome to the program Bill Walton. Frank, how are you doing today? Good to be with you, sir. Fantastic. Nowhere was excellence more exhibited than 50 years ago and your 21 at 22 performance. How do you remember it? That we won the game. I'm a team guy. Bill Russell is my favorite player ever. Kareem was the greatest I ever played against, but Bill Russell was my guy. And he played for the other guys. And our game was full court press, fast break, and the constant motion for attack. Uh, Coach Wooden said, okay. If the other team is dug in defensively, and it's a set-up offensive set for us, if Bill Walton and Jamal Wilkes don't get the ball every time, the rest of you guys are coming out. <laughs> and so <laughs> I got a lot of the baskets, but it was ball movement. So after you win that championship, something right. really wild happens. Memphis from the ABA wants Bill Walton, and they come in with suitcases full of money for you? It was the ABA in general. I want no part of it. I want to stay at UCLA, right? My coach wouldn't says, Bill, you owe these guys a meeting. And so these guys come walking in from the ABI. I have no idea who they are, but they're carrying suitcases full of money. And they're like saying, okay, you know, Bill, this is for you, you know, whatever you want. And we, 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 you're going to be the owner of the team. You pick the coach, you pick the players. You can have any player you want except for Dr. J. We're going to keep him on the East Coast. You know, you're a West Coast guy, Bill. And uh, I looked, ar looked at them and looked around, looked at the money, and I said, how could you guys do anything more than what UCLA already does for me? <laughs> <laughs> and so I said, thanks very much. Now, I know you hate to talk about your own ability, but Bob Ryan once told me on the radio, the question was, if you could start a franchise with every basketball player healthy in age 22, who would you start it with? And he said, that's the easiest question you've ever asked me, Frank. No way. It would be Bill Walton. Bob Ryan said that? Yes. Really? Do you agree with that that's assessment when me. you're healthy? That's, that's for other people to say. I, I don't talk about myself. I just try to do my best. I try to be my best. And I try to do more. Mm. I want to ask you about the Portland championship team because that was a great team. As a basket that was the youngest team in the history of the NBA to ever win the championship, and a lot of it came right here through St. Louis because of Maurice Lucas, Lucas, who was the greatest teammate I ever had, and, and how he joined the team and put us over the top. And because you know he he was the difference. It was a beautiful team. All right. One of the best books on tape I've ever listened to is yeah. your book. I did the audio. Yes, that's what made it great. And one of the great things about this book is you recounting the story when you and Larry Bird played a game of one-on-one. -on -one. Tell me about it. So, Frank, we, were, uh, we had just won the championship in Boston in the... Uh, in June of 1986, and so, and you know, we, we everybody stayed around in Boston for about a week after the championship was over, took care of all the business, and then everybody dispersed to their summertime homes. And uh, Larry went back to Indiana, which is very close to here, I'm told, and then the, uh, and then I went back to San Diego, and uh, I'm there just not too long, and the phone rings, and it's Larry he says, "Bill, I'm bored. Let's get going again." Eleven win by one, winner's out. And so I got him, I got him 10 to one, and I'm just on fire. So I'm gonna give you a chance. I'm gonna give you the ball one, one time, but only one time. And that son of a gun, he proceeded to make 10 straight shots in my face. And as, as we were going, and this was getting really super, the crowd was building around and cheering and yelling. And Larry just kept stepping further back and further back. And I'm grabbing him and I'm hacking him and I'm pushing him. And I'm finally, on the last play, I'm tackling him. He's, he's back out at half court by this time. He is in the ultimate zone. Right? And, and he makes the last one. 
And he just runs around Muhammad Ali style around the court, around the gym, and the place is roaring. And I have been buying beer for him ever since. <laughs> but it, it was incredible. But he would do remarkable things like that on a constant basis. There he was the greatest player I ever played with. He was so good. Uh, go, go ahead. Yeah, when it's played right. You can why is it any time, Frank? <laughs> oh, I don't fine. ever want to interrupt you, Bill. But when it's played right, why is it such a beautiful game? Speed, creativity, imagination, physical fitness, equipment, technology, science, nutrition, leadership, sacrifice, discipline, honor, path forward the culture, the foundation, all the things that go into success in any group dynamic. And then the mind, because it's a game of the mind. Yes, you know, and, and this was one of the one of the hardest lessons that I ever came to comprehend from Coach Wooden. But he would always say, never forget that basketball is is not a game of size and strength. It's a game of skill, timing, and position. And so I was scratching my head, saying, well, this makes no sense at all. Coach, you're telling me it's not a game of size and strength? Are you kidding me? Uh, uh, Kareem has all the records, Shaq has all the money, and Wilt has 20,000 girlfriends. What's up with that? Uh, but then it, all, it did come true. When Steph has the ball, wherever he is, 70 feet from the basket. I'm yelling, shoot it, Steph, shoot it, Steph. And it was just beautiful. There's going to be some younger people probably at this luncheon and this dinner tonight that never got to see Bill Walton play. Let's just say the son says to the dad, who is Bill Walton? What would you want the dad to tell that son? Someone who tried his best to live a purpose and mission-driven life. Someone who tried his best to make choices in life that would allow him and his team to succeed. Someone who did all he could to try to make the world a better place. Someone who did all he could to try to lift the burden and ease the pain of those who don't have the same opportunities and same privileges of all these people who are coming into this beautiful Missouri Athletic Club today. I'm the luckiest guy in the world, Frank. That is the great Bill Walton. We will take a short time out and we'll be right back.